I'm Rila Kasla. Welcome to the land of the Namqis. My name is Andrea Kramer. I'm one of the owners of Culture Shock. You are residing in the traditional land of the Namqis, and Culture Shock is in Alert Bay, which the Kwakula name is Yalis. In 2005, we opened Culture Shock, and there's three sisters. There's Barb, Donna, and Andrea, and we thought we'd open up a business together to be self-sufficient and to inspire other people to have businesses that are First Nations owned and operated. And the things that you see in Culture Shock are created by our own hands. I'm one of the artists in Culture Shock. Donna's another artist in Culture Shock. Our late sister Barb um, was a filmmaker, so all her documentaries are in Culture Shock. You can purchase them here. So the artists that we have are Kwakwakiwa. Most of them are Namqis from our nation. And we have a variety of jewelry, beautiful jewelry. We have um, the Culture Shock Jap Shock style coffee that we sell here. And we do have the best coffee on the island. And everything you see in here is connected to one of the sisters. Yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful place to come and visit because we have lots of history to share. We want people to come to Alert Bay to be educated about our First Nations, our Bakwan people. And even in, if you come to the front of our store, on our open times, we have it in Kwakwala, and we have Bakwam owned and operated. That means First Nations. So even though you wouldn't know what Bakwam is, while well, you're gonna come in the store and say, what does that mean? Then I'm gonna explain it to you and you're gonna remember. The reason we built the place is so that one, we can be su sustainable and not rely on anyone. And a lot of our local people, well, one, they love the coffee now. And two, it's important for, I guess, the North Island to support North Island businesses. And you know, we're not mass produced. The things you come and see here are things that were either created by someone carving or created by someone creating the art to go on wearable art. And that's what we want. So now we employ First Nations young people to work in our business. And we're really proud of that fact. So we have about six people that work for us. And if they have ideas of their own on what they want to create for a business, then we would support that. In our language, we say, we get um, we get um. It means just do it. And that's, I feel what Donna and I and my, sister, my late sister, it's been our vision. It's just to keep moving, moving and evolving and showing young people that you can be a successful Bakun business owner. And that's what we want.